trusses being delivered to a construction site. A fairly common occurrence. But then, truss by truss, the shape of the roof begins to emerge and the house takes on a character all its own. But this doesn't happen by accident or by some magic. It's the result of meticulous design, precision craftsmanship, and close cooperation between the builder and the truss manufacturer. It all began when the builder called the truss plant for a price quote on manufacturing the trusses. The builder submits his plans to the truss plant where they're entered into the truss plant's design system that runs specialized software. When the designer specifies the roof style and adds chimneys, dormers, gables, and other features, the software calculates the placement and design of each roof truss. Once the designing is complete, the software can tell the truss builder how many trusses are required and how much lumber it will take to build them so that the cost of the job can be accurately estimated. The software may also generate specification lists, such as hanger and strap takeoff, roofing takeoff, bracing callouts, plywood takeoffs, and other information useful to both the truss manufacturer and the builder. Upon the builder's acceptance of the truss quote, the truss manufacturer swings into action. The designs are reviewed and checked. If required, the designs will also be sent to a structural engineer who reviews them and places a seal on the plans attesting to their accuracy, completeness, and structural integrity. In addition, they may be submitted to local building officials for approval and the issuing of appropriate building permits. The software generates a pick list so the required lumber can be pulled from stock and staged at the saws. Another list is generated specifying each piece required for each truss. In many cases, this list can be downloaded from the design software directly into automated saws. Every component of every truss is custom cut, complete with any combination of straight, bevel, double bevel, scarf, bevel scarf, or other specified cuts. Some automated saws run optimization routines that calculate the most efficient way to cut all the pieces of a job so that lumber consumption is minimized and costs are reduced. Some saws feature inkjet printers that identify each piece. All the pieces of an individual truss are bundled together and moved to the assembly area. The assembly area of a truss plant is characterized by large tables. Before a truss is assembled, the table is set up or jigged with stops that outline the pattern of that individual truss. In many cases, the jigging is automated using data downloaded from the design software. The cords and webs of the truss are placed in the jigs and connector plates are placed under and over each joint. Then, a large roller press passes over the truss, setting the connector plates under thousands of pounds of pressure. The completed truss is then transferred by a conveyor for final inspection and stacking. All the trusses for a single structure are placed in one or more stacks and banded together. When the delivery date arrives, the stacks of trusses are loaded onto specially built trailers and trucked to the building site. But the story doesn't end there. The members of the structural building components industry are dedicated to not only providing quality trusses at fair and competitive prices, but also to providing builders, subcontractors and their workers with up-to-date information on best practices for storing, handling, installing and bracing trusses to optimize their structural integrity and minimize damage and mishaps. Working together, we can all make our construction projects easier and safer while continuing to provide quality buildings and great value.